Thank you, Paul. And this is what Paul meant when he said the studio is smelling like food. We have a nice holiday display here. Of course, Christmas is just three days away. Many of us are preparing for that big, yummy holiday feast. But if you're living with kidney disease, you do need to be mindful of what you're eating. So joining us today to keep us in the know about healthy eating with kidney disease is Ashley Simper, a registered dietitian with OSF. You may recognize Ashley from our weekend morning show segment called Healthy Bites. But today she's joining us on In the Know. Ashley, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Of of course. So today we're talking specifically about people living with kidney disease and what they shouldn't, should and should not be eating on Christmas, correct? Right. I'm here on behalf of the National Kidney Foundation today because it is really important when you have kidney disease to follow a special diet. And that right. can be hard to navigate around the holidays. Right. Absolutely. All the, 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 the tempting foods spread out across the table, but I'm sure there are some foods that maybe people living with kidney disease should stay away from. Or yeah, maybe there's some simple swaps we, we can talk about, but you know, the kidneys are really the filtration system for the body. So when right. they're not working well, it can build up a lot of waste products, including mm -hmm. vitamins, minerals. It can lead to high blood pressure, some bone issues, heart attack. So it is really important wow. to try and watch some of the nutrients in our diet. Mm -hmm. And that's things like sodium, potassium, phosphorus, and even protein in some cases. Wow. And then when you kind of get into the stages of dialysis, you, you also need to limit sodium, potassium, phosphorus, but you need to eat a higher protein diet. So it can okay. be really tough. Um, yeah. Usually you want to work with your doctor or a dietitian and base your diet around your lab values. So these are just some easy things that you can do, whether you're hosting someone at your place or right. you're cooking for the holidays that we can talk through here. So. Okay, yeah, and you brought in a recipe. I did. Here. A recipe from the National Kidney Foundation, nice. kidney.org. But we'll start with the sodium here. So when we okay. want to limit sodium in the diet, it's important to choose things like unsalted broths okay. or lower sodium soups, which they make. I don't know if you've had any of these salt-free blends like Mrs. Dash. No, and I have not. Everything bagel seasoning, that's pretty popular. They make okay. a salt-free everything bagel seasoning. So those are things you can use in some of the recipes if you're cooking. Oh, nice. Um, choosing fresh whenever you can over canned, mm -hmm. although canned does have a lot of no salt added products, but these are right. some fresh green beans. So if you're going to cook. They smell cook, so good. <laughs> cook from scratch. Um, portion size. So when you don't have control over what someone is serving you, you do have control over how much you, you take in, so your portion right. size. So this is a piece of chicken and a size of a, a deck of cards, and that's a typical three ounce portion. Okay. So you know you think about the palm of your hand or deck of cards, that's a good protein portion for people. Okay. Um, and then this was the recipe that I made from the website. So potatoes are actually high in potassium. So right. you can either leach the potassium out of your potatoes by taking the skin off, cutting it up, soaking it in water for several hours and then cooking it, mm -hmm. or you can make something like a substitute. This is the cauliflower no mash. Mm. So I don't know if you want to try it. I will try some. So I've, actually, I've had cauliflower mash before. I, I mean, roasted an entire um, bulb of garlic and then mm -hmm. steamed the cauliflower and then Smells I added so some good. horseradish <laughs> and some Greek yogurt. It was, mm. it, again, they have some great recipes on their on kidney.org website, okay. so check those out. I was really, really pleased with this. It's really delicious. It looks, it smells delicious. I know people at home cannot smell this, but trust me, it yeah. smells delicious. Let me give it a taste. <laughs> and while you're eating that, the last thing that's important mm. is the, the phosphorus, and there's dairy. There's phosphorus in dairy products, so people either need to limit the dairy products, or they can make a switch to something like an um, almond milk-based dairy, okay. non-dairy alternative. And so I found this eggnog that's an almond eggnog that somebody could try too. So anyway, nice. what'd you think? This is delicious. I can definitely taste the horseradish. Uh -huh. I, I love like horseradish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's perfect. It's like the perfect amount. It gives it a, a little bit of zest. Yeah. So <laughs> little yeah, zing Great to it. recipes on the kidney.org yeah. website. And, and it great. doesn't have to be so intimidating when you plan ahead. And you know, if you can cook from scratch, you can make those changes yourself. Yeah, absolutely. This is great. So, and, and it's so good to know that there are, you know, alternatives for people who sure. have food dietary restrictions. And it tastes just as yummy as, you know, the other, the other stuff. Yeah, so. that's a great spot. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And um, so where, where can someone go? You mentioned a website. that Kidney.org. Okay, and, and there's kidney-friendly recipes. recipes. And you can actually filter them based off of your stage of chronic kidney disease, which oh, is really okay. nice because the recommendations do change as you kind of get into stage five. So Okay, nice, nice. Well, this is wonderful. I'm the, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I might just have to eat this for lunch, eat the whole thing. There you go. It's all yours. <laughs> yes, oh, that is so good. Um, this is 
just fantastic. And it just it smells so good. The smells are just like so intoxicating in a, in a good way. <laughs> yes. um, but yeah, no, it's wonderful that that uh, that website exists and that there is. You said people can also consult with their doctor about. Yeah, I mean, I would recommend definitely working with a skilled dietitian or your doctor because. The recommendations for chronic kidney disease are really based on your laboratory values. And so right. things like sodium, potassium, and phosphorus, it's really going to be dependent on how that buildup is already in your blood and, right. and do you really need to restrict that or, you know, can you have some more things that, like, that you enjoy. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Thank you again, Ashley, for coming in. And we will put a link to this recipe on our website if you would like to make some cauliflower mash. Is that what it's called? No mash. Cauliflower no cauliflower, mash. Cauliflower no mash. We'll have the, <laughs> a link to the recipe on our website. And you can also see this interview again on our website. So happy, healthy eating to everyone out there. And thank you, Ashley, for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Of course. And stick around. We have a special report about a teacher here, in, a music teacher here in central Illinois. We'll be right back.